Hey guys, so I am finally back if, uh, to give you know a better review, uh, and it's gonna be the first review I'm gonna do on this ice cream sandwich Alpha Nine build, um, and uh, it's it's gonna be final you know fun to do because uh, this one is much better than Alpha Seven. Uh, it has uh, transparency working. You can see the wallpaper in the background you can change the brightness um, you have quick uh, widgets here uh, that you usually would have you know when you uh, drag there from the top but you don't have this right now you can also see my carrier down there uh, you can see the date up here and you can see this kind of blue theme oh that's kinda cool so you have settings up here when you just tap up here okay um, so this is the new settings uh, Wi-Fi tool on off um, on the side here very very simple uh, and then we can just click on Wi-Fi you can see what we are connected to add network scan simple more clean Bluetooth I'm not sure if the Bluetooth is working but data usage that's one of my favorite features um, you can see the data usage basically uh, and uh, that's good if your carrier have a limit data limit data cap um, not sure if sound works. I suppose um, sound is going to work. Um, okay. Still some UI glitches. I think you can call and you know text also with this Alpha Nine build that I already have a video on how you can go ahead and install it. Twenty two minutes on battery storage. Um, what else? Display. Auto rotate screen wallpaper, uh, live wallpaper is kind of cool. Let's try out this one. Set wallpaper, go back. Uh, we have brightness just like that. I don't have automatic brightness turned on. Uh, font size if, if you want, you know, big, bigger if, if you are blind. I'm sure if that's something new, but. Uh, I don't think so. If you go down to uh, about phone, we can see here basically that uh, for Windows point one, uh, my basement version and my kernel version, and the build number. Uh, if you go up here, uh, system updates, you can quickly check for new updates. I'm not sure if I have internet. Uh, you can also see my carrier, some quick stats, my IP address, Wi-Fi MAC address. Uh, uptime just feels you know like a more professional OS uh, with this Android format O uh, build it's uh, insane I think also they've added much more developer tools uh, can turn on USB debugging as usual uh, data time what else security And also this, uh, you know, when you bump into the walls, it makes more sense now with uh, that thing. It looks much better than that TouchWiz UI. Um, so I hope that many TouchWiz, that it should, you know, disappear. Everyone should run, you know, stock Android, I think. Because it's going to be bananas. Location services. Apps. No apps. Battery. Oh yeah, I've already been checking that out. Click on more airplane mode, tethering, portable, Wi Fi direct, mobile networks. Uh, if you go down here, also, as you can see, uh, we had this new live wallpaper. You could see this clean um, kind of uh, widget up here on the top, and it seems like you can't edit them right here. Okay, if you hold down, you get that thing up and um, pop in. But I, it seems like I can't move this down. Okay, let's try out the mic. Speak. Okay, voice search. Okay, voice search. I, I don't think the mic is working. Um, quickly to go between stuff. Uh, that's the GPS, I suppose. Uh, brightness, I already show you. That's something. Could be the screen rotation. We have Bluetooth. I turned that off. Uh, and also, obviously, we have Wi-Fi there on the side. Um, you have my apps and widgets. I can sign into my Google account. Not sure if that's gonna work though. Um, feels a lot, or obviously it's it's, it's just like a Galaxy Nexus that uh, is already out. Let's go ahead and try to sign in. A 
I'm just going to type it in here. And the keyboard feels so much better. Feels a lot like Apple's keyboard. And then the password. I'll show you guys that. Okay. Sign in. I'm sure if the internet's gonna work. Okay, so obviously sound does work. Someone wants to chat with me. Okay. I don't want to chat with him. I accept. You can see that I have this new large big font. I think I should change back to a smaller one. Uh, but, you know, I don't, I'm not sure if uh, apps is going to work as awesome. Also, I'm going to change up the font again. That font was way too big. Um, so this is the new uh, on the side, system settings. Uh, it's you know very 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 easier easy to you know find stuff. Uh, where was it? Did I click on more? Could it be on display? Yes, normal. Okay, that looks so much better. I think it's just because my internet set doesn't load, you know, those, or it could be a glitch. Games. Who wants to talk with me? Random. I don't want to talk. Okay, so that's the app. It doesn't seem to work that awesome. Um, obviously, we can move this around. Wow, wait, it's a big box. Okay. Also, this is one thing that I noticed is that like, this Google thing on the top it follows on end every, every single screen. Uh, some people might hate that, but uh, I think that's kind of neat because that's something I use all the time. Okay, search for something, Google something, or YouTube. You search on the internet. Signing into Google Sites. I don't want to sign into stuff. Oh my god. There we go. And I also think that they have cleaned up the browser a bit, um, so you know it, it looks more clean on the side. Oh, cool! Oh, that was, that was really cool. Um, so the internet seems to be kind of down. I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that. Two seconds. <laughs> 